What's up, everyone? This is a Destroyer 229. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we continued to explore Hyrule Castle. We managed to find the, uh, the shrine that was hidden down in the dock section of the castle. Found a few recipes, found a few armor pieces as well. And overall, we've done a pretty good job of just kind of, well, getting some extra stuff done. In this episode, we are going to take a little bit of a minor break from doing stuff in Hyrule Castle. We've got plenty of quests to do, including continuing our memory quest. Uh, I should mention that I no longer have my guardian axe or the master sword. Because I used both of those to get a lot of wood. I still need nine bundles of wood to give to Hudson, but hey, making progress. So anyway... In this episode, we still have plenty of quests that we have left to do, so we are first going to start by talking to Impa. Well, well, you've returned. What is it? No. All 12 pictures already. You visited every place. Huh. Then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Here is what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in half a day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. And so we have one more memory to try to get. And that really isn't all that far from here. According to Impa, it's just half a day's travel. And the best way to get there is to actually get to the Dueling Peaks Stable. So, let's go ahead and find this last location. There's a few other things that I realize I probably should do, like check in with the Great Fairy, or turn in my spirit orbs. But, whatever, one thing at a time. Um... Oh, okay. If they have a name, they're not Yiga. <laughs> it's a very good indication of whether or not someone is part of the Yiga clan. Uh, okay, so... Talking about the moon, possibly the blood moon. Uh, is there any more pieces of wood that are nearby? I wouldn't mind just... Ah! Perfect. Two more bundles of wood. It'd be nice if I could get all of it, but you know, I'll take any extras that I can get. Okay. So the memory kind of shows like a graveyard of guardians. And this is pretty much our area. Now, the only problem is I don't know exactly where it is that we need to be to trigger the memory. That, unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure about. Ooh, chest! Just as! Fire arrows! And unfortunately, we won't actually get a chance to see where the memory thing is until we are pretty close to our actual destination. Also, what is, why is this bombable? I mean, it has a chest. 
with an emblazoned shield. Uh, wait, I'm full on shields? Huh, so I am. Uh, well, it's not really all that good of a shield. Okay, well, whatever. They're going away. I've got some keys here. And thankfully, they're normal keys, so I don't have to worry about them, like, burning me. Or electrocuting me. By trying to get rid of them. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm just gonna need to have to look around the nearby area until I find the memory spot. Because, again, I know that it is within this general area. The problem is this general area is freaking huge. So trying to completely isolate where it is that I am looking for is a little bit troublesome. So that, unfortunately, is a little bit of a problem. I'm pretty sure, yeah. The quest is just going to take us back to Kakariko. That ought to help. Or at least give me some distance between them. Okay. Wait, am I back to where that shield was? Yeah. Damn it. Now I'm just going around in circles. Uh, well. I mean, at this point, I might just want to skip ahead until I actually find where the memory spot is. So, I will go ahead and meet you guys whenever I find it. And then I'll show you on the map where it is. Ah! I found it! So, specifically on the map, it is right here. So, between these two lakes. Kind of in the ash swamp. But this is our final memory. The last thing that Zelda wanted to show us. Sword. So he can. He can still be saved? 
Princess! <gasps> Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. all of your memories of us from 100 years ago. I am here, inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. that we now know the whole picture all of our friends from a hundred years ago the struggles that Zelda went through the pain of her not being able to awaken to her powers and the rise of the calamity the fall of the guardians and how Link ended up in the shrine of resurrection with that, we are pretty much done with our quests, aside from defeating Ganon, and also heading on over to the Champion's Ballad, which I'm still not entirely sure if we should go over there or not. But there's still a lot left for us to do. So, I feel like we might want to check in on Impa at some point to let her know about that. But what I am going to do is head on over to the uh, supply range. I want to head on over to the Rito Village because I want to try to make some dishes. I need to remember how exactly these dishes are made, but I needed quite a lot of materials in order to do so. Okay, well, thankfully, shops in towns are just always open. So, thankfully, I don't really need to worry about anything. You know, assuming I can actually get to the shops. Uh, let's see. Which one of these was the food shop? Here we are. Okay, let's see. We've got sun shrooms, we got bomb arrows, we got goat butter, cane sugar. Ah, oh, they only have three. Well, three should be fine. Okay, and then to bond the wheat. Which I'll also take all three of those. Okay, uh, so let's see what I was missing. I was missing to bond the wheat, cane sugar. Was I missing goat butter? Uh, I mean, I can try. I'm trying to think what all I was missing from those. From making actual meals. Uh, let's see. So that is the hotel. I can head on over to the goddess statue and I can get myself another heart container. I could certainly use some healing. hearts am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing seven hearts. Huh. And I know I'm also missing just a full wheel, but I mean, that tells you how many shrines we're missing. Um, what? What's the closest range? Um, actually, the Korok Forest might not be a bad place. Plus, I can probably try to buy some rush rooms while I'm there. Because I need a lot of rush rooms to get done with one of the quests. And I know there is a fire here. Weird 
in a forest that I know that there's a fire there, but I definitely know that I can cook here. Although I could probably cook in most of the stables. Whatever, I'm here now. And I need mushrooms anyway. So let's go ahead and buy us some rush rooms. Only four of them. Uh, let's see. Okay. How many rush rooms does that leave us with? 30. Still missing like 25. Okay. So, first things first, I'm going to save. Just in case I botch these ingredients. I don't think I need like any sort of rice or anything. Okay, so fruit cake. Uh, it was two pieces of fruit along with let's see it was tabantha wheat and cane sugar I believe <laughs> nope that's simmered fruit okay uh well let's see what else it was uh was it goat butter and cane sugar no i don't think there was any cane sugar it might just be goat butter and tabantha wheat <laughs> this is precisely why i saved hot buttered apple though interesting uh, I'm gonna load up my save, though. I mean, worst case scenario, I just go and, uh, just look up what exactly I was missing. I don't think Hylian rice was part of it, but I'll take more cane sugar. Uh, you're my only customer, so please buy stuff. Okay, um... Let's see about the other thing. So, monster extract was one, and I needed three other ingredients. So, cane sugar, tabantha wheat, and goat butter. <laughs> monster cake. I don't think that was one of the things that I was looking for. All right. To save myself and everyone else some time, I'm just gonna look up that, look up the recipes from, what was it, last episode? Yeah, it was last episode. I'm gonna look up those recipes so that way I'm not just guessing anymore. Okay, so I looked up the episode, and it turns out the first one that I was, that I did was actually right. The monster cake was one of the things. For some reason, I didn't think it was. <laughs> oh, but this one actually has five. The other one was only half a heart. Huh, that's interesting. All right, I have it up now. So it's any two or more pieces of fruit. Uh, we'll do that and wild berry. Let's try two different pieces of fruit. Along with tabantha wheat and cane sugar. Which is weird because I feel like I did that. But it says two or more. So let's include another piece of fruit. Uh, you know, let's just try this and then go from there. <laughs> Cake. There we go. All right. So those are the two things that we needed. Um, where was Royal Recipe? So at the Riverside Stable. All right. So to the Riverside Stable we go. I certainly hope there wasn't a third item that he was after, and it's only two. Because, uh, I mean, it's possible that there was one in the kitchen. But only one way to find out. You what? 
You really discovered a royal cookbook! Could I bother you to further to prepare the dish for me? I must sample it. Sure, here's some fruitcake. This... This is the fruitcake said to be eaten by the princess of Hyrule. Simply delicious. How could I possibly describe this experience? A refreshing aroma reminiscent of galloping across these majestic plains on horseback. Now that undersells the dish's complexity. It fills me with that heart-thumping intensity that seizes your very soul when you're spotted by a guardian. Oh. A truly elegant dish. I never thought it would taste something quite so thrilling. I really must thank you for giving me such a beautiful meal. Here, take this. For your trouble. Sweet, 100 rupees. Thanks, Itsuki. Okay, so cool. That's... That. What? You discovered another recipe. Could I bother you to prepare the dish for me? I must sample it. Sure, try this monster cake. This monster cake is said to have been a favorite of the Minister of Hyrule. It tastes beautiful. How can I put it into words? It's like biting into a choo-choo. No, no, that'd be disgusting and dangerous. It stimulates the brain. Much like being pummeled by a Hinox. Oh. A truly elegant dish. I never thought it would taste something quite so thrilling. Ah. I really must thank you for giving me such a beautiful meal. Here, take this. For your trouble. Another hundred rupees. So I guess the quest only requires you for one. Huh. Interesting. Well, there might be a third recipe there, but it's not like it requires a different quest. Um, one thing, though, that did happen while I was off screen and looking up stuff is that my Master Sword came back. Um, I'm not sure if there's any wood here. And <gasps> Master Sword isn't fantastic for cutting trees. But it will get the job done. Two swipes will knock down a regular tree. And then a third will just... Uh, transform it into bundles of wood. Whereas a regular axe would just simply take one swing to knock it down. And then... Ah, uh, two more. And then another one to... Uh, turn into bundles of wood. Alright. And I grabbed a cricket. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this gets rid of the... Uh, the durability of weapons a lot faster. Because that axe did not really last all that long. And neither really did the Master Sword. But whatever. I've got enough now... Let's head on over to Terrytown. Oh, Terrytown definitely looks like it's coming along. Hey Hudson, I got you some stuff. Ooh. Hey, did you bring the 50 bundles of wood? Sure did. Excellent, can I have them? Ooh. You're a lifesaver. Here you go. I actually want to talk about something a little personal. Sure. What's wrong? Oh, not that kind of personal. Actually, I got engaged. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. May I ask who the lucky person is? To Ronson. Oh. I must say, you make a cute couple. Thank you. Anyway, we want to have a little ceremony to celebrate, but we need someone priest-like to officiate. Could you look for someone priest-like for us? Priest-like? Mm. If 
we're looking for a person devout enough to have a priest-like person, I suggest the Zora. Good luck! You'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. It has to end in sun! Yeah, in accordance with the official bolting construction policy, the person's name has to end in sun. If you're onto someone that fits with what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Great. Well... <laughs> I guess we're off to Zora's domain then! <laughs> to find a priest like Zora, whose name ends in Sun. Wait, where? why am I in this? Did I go to the wrong shrine? I did go to the wrong shrine, whoops. Well, whatever, I'm still pretty close to Zora's domain. Anyway, um... At the very least, though, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Since it's been a while since we've been in Zora's domain. Guess we still can't take that. It's been a while since we've been here, so... At the very least, this might not be a bad opportunity to just kind of look around and see if there's any additional quests that might have opened up to us. Again, I have to find someone whose name ends in sign. Uh... <laughs> yeah, not really much anything there. Oh, hey, another quest! What is it? Oh, hey, mister. You've got a weird face. Well, I'm a Hylian. Hylian? Never met one of those before. Speaking of which, do Hylians have any use for frogs? If you don't need your hot-footed frogs, why not donate to me? Five frogs should do the trick, got it? Yo oh, kid, wait up, I got plenty of frogs. Hi. Hey mister, I'm busy. Here's some frogs. Whoa. What, really? Sure, here you go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count them. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Wow, you really brought them! Here, take this as thanks! Armoranth, yay! <laughs> this is called Armoranth! I picked it because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours! Cool, I finished a, a simple quest. Okay, so there's Baz, a few other things here. Got a Goron here, various things here. A Sizzlefin, Chillfin. Um, honestly, I probably should buy some arrows. Okay, Ice Arrows, Rock Salt, Swift Violets. Okay. The big thing that I am primarily looking for Link! Link! My wife! May! She came back to me! I cannot possibly thank you enough! But I shall try. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Truly! Alright, well, thankfully we got that situated a, a, quite a while ago. No, you don't. Okay, but still, we need to find a priest-like person. And unfortunately, I'm just not entirely sure where to look for that. And nothing's even necessarily saying that what we are looking for will actually be at Zora's Domain. Oh, hey, Sedan. Oh. If you find yourself in this part of the world again, I implore you to come visit us. We are always here for you. Oh, and have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? <laughs> because you are and I am. Yes, thank you, Sedan. Okay. I mean, yeah, it doesn't necessarily hurt to just continue looking at quests. Yeah. Oh. Um, hmm. Because that's a big thing that I also need to just look for. Oh, hey, May. Good day. After we last met, my darling gave me a good scolding. He said I shouldn't go wandering around anymore for a while. Oh, I suppose it's only fair. Oh, I'm glad everything worked out for the best. Um, Link, I hear you appeased Ruta? 
Zoro's domain is saved. Now Lady Mipa can rest in peace. <laughs> We're all so grateful to you, Link. Okay, not really looks like a lot of quests. Uh, again, need to find a priest-like person. Really, I'm just looking for someone whose name ends in son. Like, the weird thing is, like, it's just, like, a priest-like person. One of the main problems is just the fact that it's... Oh, I actually can't go up that waterfall. Oh, well, I think I might have found him. Well, well, it's always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for joining to our fair Zora's domain. Wait a moment, you, you're Link. The perpetrator who forced Lady Mifa to join his crusade a hundred years ago, only to be destroyed by Calamity Ganon. As though I could ever forget that face. You should know that the elderly here who loved Lady Mifa still remember and they still resent you. Oh. I, however, resent the deed and not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of the past to wash away. Link, I have retired from my role as a priest. I'm now leaving my life free from the material concerns of this world. However, ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Spending day after day in idleness, only to pass from this world soon. Link, as I'm sure you're well aware, the afterlife lays claim to all. We never know when it will beckon. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor. One I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and then I shall be fulfilled. Well, funny you should mention that. I've been waiting to hear those words. Now, please tell me the specifics. See, there's this couple. As for the location, hmm. Tarrytown in Akala. Akala isn't too far from here. It would please me to hurry there right away. By yourself? <laughs> no need to worry about me. I've always had confidence in my fins and feet. It's been a long while since I've had work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I will start my preparations in Terrytown in the meantime. Well, that didn't take too long. Okay, well, I don't really think there's much anything else for us to do here. Uh, I mean, I'll... I'll check, check in with the king. Uh, I don't think the king really has... I mean, he didn't look like he had any quests for us. Um, I... It doesn't really seem like there's anything else for us here. I don't think anything really opened up to us after really getting anything. So, I'm just gonna head on back to Terrytown and... And see what we can do about this wedding. Looks like Terrytown is pretty much expanded to as far as it can. I don't see any just rogue boulders in the way. Oh. Okay, so there's that old woman from earlier. Grayson's here with a very nice shrine. Oh. Hey, uh, I'm all done breaking the rocks. I was told to stand here. Is something supposed to happen? Ah, the wedding. Ah, there's an inn now. Oh, Caps is, Caps is in charge of the inn? Link, are you in need of good sleep and a hearty meal? No thanks. Okay, well, I guess that's his other purpose. I guess. Um, I actually wouldn't mind buying some more ancient gears. Uh, and some regular arrows. Because I've got plenty of money now. 
Okay. Um. Oh, there they are. Hello there. Oh, hey. You found Azora? Oh, thank you. Really? He and I talked earlier, and he said that he literally was a priest before he retired. Can't get more priests like than that. His name is Capson, so I have no objections there. It really is amazing that you were able to find someone priest like who also had an acceptable name. Mm. Well, next is. Yes. Of course, we'll have to invite guests in order to hold the ceremony. I'm sorry, guests? Well, I'm talking about my boss, Bolson, and my subordinate, Carson. Oh, uh, okay. However, I've got to prepare for the ceremony, so my hands are full. Could you invite them for me? Sure, where are they? You know where they are. Bolson and Carson are in Tano Village, right? Ah, alright. I just want to make sure they didn't move anywhere. Excellent. I'm counting on you. Okay, so I guess we're heading on back to Hateno then. Also, there's a mule here. Really a donkey. It's actually a donkey. Yeah, but it is interesting seeing just how well Terrytown has come along. Well, it shouldn't really be all that long now before we finish this. So, let's... Let's grab Bolson and have a wedding. This is, again, nice that we're getting some of these long-term quests taken care of. We got done with quite a few not that long ago. So, to get done with another set. Uh, okay, that's just an ad. Well, they should be just lounging around by my house, right? Yeah, they haven't moved. So, that's convenient. Uh, hey. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Oh. Hudson's getting married! And he wants me to attend the wedding! Wow. Good on him. Hooky doo, I'm in. Wedding time, baby. Not like there's anything to do here, anyway. Well, I guess I'll get packed and head over to Hudson's place. Please. <laughs> This will be fun. Okie do. Oh. Carson, we're headed out. Oh. Finally, I've been w we've been waiting for this day. Literally everyone whose name ends in Sun in the entirety of Hyrule is now over at Terrytown. Well, time for a wedding! Beautiful day, beautiful weather. It's time for a wedding. Oh, hey, there are the guests. Just kind of lounging about by the fire. Uh, Hiya, we're here. Talk to Hudson, let's get the ceremony started. All right, is he, yeah, he's by the bride. Yo, Hudson. Oh. Hey, you extended my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and the boss, Bolson, are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Understood. Then let's join the gathering. <laughs> Silence plays everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Rodson in matrimony. Hudson. Before the eyes of these witnesses and before those of Goddess Hylia, do you take Rodson to be your wife, to have and to hold in good times and in bad? 
I do. Excellent. And Rodson, before the eyes of these witnesses, and before those of Goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband, in sickness and in health? And do you also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? Wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. What makes you say that? Mama. They're as traditional as it gets. I don't think she means traditional in that sense of the word. <laughs> a vow of undying tradition. And a vow of guidelines compliance. <laughs> I'll take that vow. <laughs> think of future generations. Well, those are the guidelines. I do. Excellent. <coughs> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in greeting this newly married couple. I wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. So, we built up a town, we've had a wedding. I think Terrytown is doing quite all right for itself. Ooh. Hey, it's you. Thank you for attending the ceremony. Congratulations, Hudson. Thank you. And now Terrytown looks like a real town at long last. This is all possible because of you. I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you did. Alright. This is for you. Three diamonds for our effort. These were found inside the boulders we smashed when we were clearing land. Ronson and I have no use for them. You can take them. That one of the longest quest chains in the entire game is now complete. Terrytown is now a full-fledged town filled with every single race that exists within Hyrule. Hylians and Gerudo, Rito and Zora, and also Gorons as well. Every single person, every single race that exists can find a home here. And with that, we're good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well... There's still some more quests to do. Unfortunately, like, trying to get rush rooms is a bit of a pain. And there's also just a lot of these different things that are a bit... Odd. EX recovered memory, what? Hmm. Apparently there are some other memories. Possibly, if I had to guess, it's probably the Champion's Ballad. Um, I'm still not entirely sure if, I feel like I should wait on the Champion's Ballad. Until I am completely done with practically everything. Like, maybe not necessarily, like, fought Ganon, but kind of similar to the Trial of the Sword. Kind of waiting until I get done with most everything else. But anyway... There's not really a whole lot left for us to do. I mean, there's still a number of different EX quests to get and still shrine quests. Plus, there are still plenty of shrines that we have yet to get. I mean, there's still plenty of hearts that we can get. Plenty of the stamina wheel that we need to expand. So, I know there's a lot more out there. 
but it seems to me that we're getting close to the point where I'm going to need to look up a guide to get through everything else. It's been fun doing things without a guide and just trying to discover things along the way. But I think at this point I might just want to try to, well, look up guides to try to finish the rest of these quests. As well as finding out all of the other quests. I think we've done very well for ourselves. I mean, just going through all of those quests and all of the side quests as well, or shrine quests, plus doing all of the main quests too. So, for how long this has been? 83 episodes in without really resorting to a guide, like maybe once or twice for miscellaneous things. I think this may be the time to actually begin using guides to try to finish off the rest of the stuff that we have left to do. That way I'm not just wandering around every which way trying to figure out what do I do? I might take a quick pit stop at Death Mountain though just because it seemed like there was another quest that I could do up there. So I might start there just so I can explore a little bit. But other than that, I think we might begin just looking up where the rest of these events are. Once we're done with that, then we can get going on where the, f the rest of the shrine locations are. Get done with all of those. And then maybe get done with... The last couple of things here. That being... Oh jeez, it's way up here. That being the Trial of the Sword and the Champion's Ballad. So until next time, everyone. Take care. <laughs>